Hi Virgo, I'm just going to re-record the recording that I'd done earlier for Virgo. I got a message that it was pretty weird, uh, so I'm just going to re-record it so we can have a cleaner version of what I was trying to get across to you in that technically video. So, uh, my name's Seth, I run ComingOutTarot.com. When I'm on here, my goal is to give you a 360 view of what's going on for you in the next coming month. In this case, that's October 2018. So Virgo, uh, I'm going to bring the cards through that I had shuffled and these, the messages that I had shared from the uh, time that I had done the reading. And if there's anything new that comes through, then I'll share that with you too. But I want to make sure I'm true to the original reading and what I had wanted to share with you when I started. So the cards that I had pulled <clears throat> in order to help us better understand your health, wealth, and relationships for October 2018 were the Four of Wands. The Six of Cups and the Star, all respective, health, wealth, and relationships. What was interesting about all of these is that as an earth sign, there's no earth in any of these cards. Uh, in the three of them, I've got fire, water, and air. So earth is entirely missing. So the materialization of things in the month of October is not actually a thing. Uh, what you're going through is the expression of creation, feeling, going through how you manage uh, yourself and think about yourself and the things around you, but it doesn't actually materialize. It doesn't turn into anything. So I think that's really interesting to have uh, an earth sign not actually manifesting something because as an as a fellow earth sign we're always creating doing making something busy doing something with our hands and it uh it's strange to not have that happen so it may feel awkward this month things may feel a little off like you're not doing what you're meant to be doing and and it may feel like you need to do some busy work so i'm going to challenge you on that especially when we get to the relationship side of things for the Four of Wands, related to your health, the things that I wanted to get across to you here is that when we've got uh, the Four of Wands and an element of fire, uh, when it comes to your health, there's a lot going on there. It's Fire has its own structure. It may not feel like it. It may feel like it's constantly lapping and flickering and that it doesn't really have a structure, but it does. It's got a base. It's got um, different colors as it gets hotter. So there is actually a structure to fire, but it's also interesting to me that fire is a creator. Fire is a destroyer. Certainly it raises things. It tears down some buildings. It destroys natural uh, settings, wildlife, but it also creates new space to grow. And when that comes to your health, I want you to be considerate of the fact that you're burning the candle at both ends. You're going a little, a little, a little far, a little fast right now. And you're in that state of creation slash destruction. You're, you're having the opportunity to, um, drive yourself to do all the things you want to do, but at what expense? And that expense is your health, which is why we have that burning the candle on both ends. You're just kind of, eventually it's all going to, and you're going to exhaust yourself and you're going to have to stop whether you like it or not. Your body's going to stop you. So when it comes to your health, I would encourage you to schedule a break. Think about those those times uh, where you can disrupt yourself, relax a little bit, take the time for you, because not only is it for you, it's also for the other people in your life. They need the break too, because you can be a, a significant driving force, Virgo, and, uh, and we all need a break sometimes, and certainly you do as well. Now, let's take a look at, remember your wealth, this is the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups, uh, especially in a money position, always makes me think of, oh, remember when I had money like this? Remember when my money was in this state? I really wish I, was, I had money like that again. Uh, or I wish I had the freedom that money gave me like that again. I wish I felt like that again. And in this instance, it's, it's not really, I wish that. Um, the challenge would be more, where do you want your money to be? So if you 
have that nostalgic feeling about, I wish my money were in this space, then it's really possible, excuse me, for you to use that as a as a stepping stone, as a structure, as a as a, an idea of saying, okay, what did I do to get there? How do I do that again and replicate it? And then put that action into motion. So you can you can get over where it was. Now the thing that's interesting about this in October is that you can't do this alone. You need a partner, husband, boyfriend, partner, whatever or an accountant or uh, a financial advisor or someone. You, you need some help during October to move your finances forward in the direction that you'd like them to go. So first, understand where you were, how you got there, get a plan in place, and, and with that plan, start talking to someone else who you trust financially that can help you move forward. Not only do you need someone to help you do that planning to help you move forward, there's an investment opportunity. So the you may have multiple investments, like a checking account is could be an investment, savings could certainly an investment, IRA is an investment. Some people have even more significant investments beyond IRA. So let's say you have a significant investment, whatever your highest investment opportunity is. During the month of October, I would encourage you to invest more in that highest investment opportunity. You probably have a standard amount that you're putting in there at a certain interval. I would encourage you to think about how, can, how much you'd be able to increase that for October. It may not want to continue past, and that's up to you, but at least for October, you might want to put a little bit more away into that, um, that major investment opportunity. All right. This is the one I'm excited about, relationships. To have the star show up in a relationship space tells me a lot of things about where you are, Virgo. We already talked about burning the candle at both ends. Well, this is no different in your relationship. When the star comes up, the star is about taking that moment to relax, to stop, reflect, and remember who we are. And to, to share ourselves with the people that are around us and to listen to them and accept when they tell us they love us for who we are. Because it's not unusual, Virgo, to constantly try to perfect yourself. But when someone tells you you're perfect just the way you are, how incredible is that? How, how amazing do you feel when you get that reaffirmation? And I think in October, there's opportunity for that. Because what it does is allow for you and your husband, boyfriend, partner, whatever, or your um, potential significant other to not only uh, be allowed to give you that reaffirmation, but it gives you both the opportunity to stop to breathe a little bit, it, it opens yourself up to yourself. And how often do you get that kind of reflection time? I think that's truly, truly amazing. And how rare that in a relationship um, piece of a reading to have the relationship be about the person and for the person that I'm doing the reading for rather than um, someone external to them. I think that's pretty powerful, Virgo, to have a reading and a relationship be about your relationship with yourself. That's that's pretty that's pretty amazing. Um, so let's look at the contestants of this. Uh, Ten. The uh, hermit. So not surprising that I'm giving you some advice to pull back, reflect slow down a little bit, pull yourself away, um, have that opportunity to look in word and determine who you are and where you'd like to be. It gives you a chance to slow down for a minute and to be able to reach out to experts who have advice for you, your financial experts, your partner, husband, boyfriend, whatever, or others around you who would care to share their um, reflection of you in their words. All right, I hope this is helpful, Virgo. Sorry about the original bad recording. 
Uh, I'm going to drop this in in just a minute. So I hope that you'll uh, give me a thumbs up on this video that you like it and uh, leave me some comments on the bottom about how this was helpful to you, what you're thinking, and if there's anything else you'd like me to share. And do subscribe if you haven't already so we can keep track of each other. I hope to see you again in November. And if you'd like to find out more about how to have a reading with me, just head over to comingouttarot.com to find out more over there. Thanks.